Good evening everyone and this is my final video for today and this kit isn't mine um, it's actually my dad's um, and I was worried because I couldn't find the canopies but I found them they're tucked away uh, here underneath two canopies so this is a historic wings aircraft in miniature limited uh, complete vac form kit so I'm in for a world of pain um, I promised my dad I would build this for him. Now the Sherpa that I've just built was um, a mix of a vac form, which someone had already cut, and um, injection parts. This is all vac form, except for the engine nacelles, which are resin, the propeller assemblies, which are white metal, and uh, thankfully the undercarriage and seats, which are white metal. So I'm really pleased about that because these do not look very fun to cut and do, especially the tyres. Now, um, the Hastings was a post-World uh, War II British aircraft. That its roots really were in World War II. So it's World War II technology. Um, uh, Handley Page, um, I wonder if there was a bit of Halifax in there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but the fuselage here is uh, completely vac form. And then you get some nice decals, which I'll probably get my dad to do because I'm rubbish with decals and um, some etched stuff there for the aerials. Instructions are very, very basic. They are just on one page, a bit like a Will's Craftsman kit from the world of railway modelling. And now I have, meant, I have made um, many um, resin tanks before, but the problem with vac form aircraft is you've got to cut very perfectly and then the worst part of it is the seam lines and everything have to be perfect on airplanes because you can't just put camlets over them like you can with tanks. So the decals are for Hadley Page Hastings 48 Squadron Far East Air Force, um, Hadley Page Hastings 99 Squadron Transport Command and then a Coastal Command Met Mark 1 which looks quite interesting. I like the Coastal Command stuff. Uh, yellow tips on the propeller blades and everything else is basically the transport command scheme of the appropriate age. Um, now, like I said, these are not easy to cut out. Um, thankfully, with the white metal pieces, I don't have to cut out some of these tiny little pieces here. And the canopies are underneath. So this is going to be a very painful build. So I may start building his Valletta for him first. Um, but yeah, look at that. Um, it looks like an interesting kit. Uh, it looks like a lot of work. Uh, but there we go. Um, that is my pain for the year ahead. Take care. Goodbye.